Greetings, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Tommy Rats, New York Hardcore Stories. And uh, I should be doing more videos, but uh, things get in the way, life gets in the way. So that's something that everybody could deal with. Well, anyway, I want to thank new subscribers. And to support the channel, just read the title description below. Uh, so I'm still working on the book. Just right now looking into editing and getting the cover done and I will have exclusive content for the book that will not appear in the book unless you become a patreon member so you will be seeing you will be seeing stuff on there if you join patreon so, and that that will help support the channel and I'll have other content on there too as well that might be unrelated to uh, hardcore stuff that I will be showing on my YouTube channel. Okay. And I want to offer my condolences to J to the family and friends of Jay Monroe. She suddenly passed away. She was a singer for Apple, which was a punk band that was around in the 80s. And what else, what else do I have to say? Well, listen, just one thing I want to say, just so you know, if you're a new subscriber, you the first time you're seeing this, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, share the shit out of this video, get it across to where, to wherever it can be seen. All right, I want to talk about uh, when Void, this man from DC, Void, that came to New York City. Back in 82, 82, 83, I believe. Now, for my first exposure of them was on the Flex Your Head compilation. They did three songs on there. Dehumanized, Authority, and My Rules. Now, My Rules was the only song that made to the, that made a cut to, their, to the Fate Void album. And they pretty much had a sound that wasn't like the other DC bands. They were a lot more heavier and fast. They did have a yeah, they did have a unique sound compared to the other to what was coming out of the DC in the DC era, the 1981, 82 era of uh, DC hardcore bands. Now let me just check something here. Hold on a second. Okay, it was up to here. Hold on a second. Sorry if I'm boring you with this, but sometimes, you know, I need to look up information while I'm in the process of doing this. Doing this. I'm trying to treat this like... I would rather do a live, but for some reason this software on Streamlands hasn't, hasn't been allowing me to do it lately. And I don't I don't feel like going back, doing re reshoots of this shit over and over. So I'm just doing this straight, off the fly. I'm playing. I know I'm looking at some stuff here. I don't wonder if this show will happen. Yeah. 
Now, I remember they played CBGBs. It was a man A. I don't remember who they played with. I think there was some, they did have some other shows and somehow they, I don't know, postponed. Because um, I just remember two, two distinct times that they played. CBGBs, which I thought that was a killer show. The place, you know, place went crazy. You know, kids stage diving. I mean, New York, the New York crowd loved Void. The New York crowd loved them. You know, you know, you know, despite you know how how they how some of the DC people felt about the New York hardcore scene in general at one time. You know, but you know, we still supported we still supported these bands regardless whatever you know their feelings were. Now another thing. Now they played a show at Gildersleeve. I believe U Brigade was on that show, and when the sec second song, when they went to do the second song, the singer got injured, and a lot of people were pissed off. They they were disappointed that they had to cut this set short. And I believe they were playing some new songs too. They were trying to play some new songs that night also that were more metallic. So this is like before anybody talked about any crossover shit. So So that's something that's something I wanna chime in. But then uh, but Void, you know, I think after that they broke up. I think they broke up after when the guitarist left to do other stuff. And I was reading somewhere that the original drummer passed away, Sean Finnegan. I was reading somewhere that he did. But they have they have their place in the in the hardcore history books. I'll tell you. And uh, I think believe they were like a, a lot of little forerunners to a lot of bands that would have come later with that style. You know, they had a unique style like with the distorting. Now, now the Psychos used to cover two Void songs, uh, Who Are You, and I think the second one was called Time to Die, Time to Die, yeah, I remember they were doing that. I seen a flyer for a show at Gildersleeves with them scream, Psychos and Second Wind. Now, I don't know if Void ever played that show, I don't know. Anybody, you know, have any information about that, you know? Let me know, please. I, I would. I think I would have remembered. I would have remembered that gig, if it, that gig like that, if it did happen. I think I would have, because I would have. I, I would have went to. I would have uh, tried to go go to that show. All right, but anyway, the but anyway, that that was a uh, that was the the impact that they left behind, in their era. So in closing, just remember, you know, to you know, we do have shirts, rejuvenate shirts for sale. You know, help out the channel. Black t shirts, off a of bonfire gray t shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts. Yeah, so support the channel. And and get get through bonfire.com. The link is in the description box. Uh, I'm gonna try to have some more stuff for auction. I know I got. I know a lot of stuff. I I know I sent some feelers out, like for some stuff I was selling, you know, to avoid the middleman. But I know I got a lot of my good shit is gone. I'll tell you that. A lot of my real good shit is gone. But anyway, but but I have some more stuff in my eBay store. So check out the link in the title description. So support the channel any way you can, and. We'll try to get these videos out a lot sooner. Thank you again. Please smash that like button and subscribe for more Tommy Rat New York Hardcore stories. Thank you for watching.